<laughs> hey cancer welcome back to the channel it's the spirit font um we're having a look at who's coming towards you is it an x or should you keep it moving to the next um this is general so it won't resonate with you all roles could easily be reversed as well um and general not general private readings personal readings are on offer the information is below in the description so yeah let's see who's coming towards you cancer this could be someone from your past a friend someone who's been eyeing you a complete stranger or a full-on ex you're gonna need to use your own intuition and we'll see what the cards have for us okay Whew. beautiful energies cancer so far to start um I can't tell right now if it's an X from the cards that I'm seeing. I'll have to clarify. But what I'm picking up on is that there's definitely someone rushing towards you. Wow. Someone's rushing towards you very passionately. Someone doesn't want you to get away. So possibly that could mean it's an X or someone that you've dealt with already. Um, this could have been someone who is a little immature with these night energies. Um, they weren't offering the full cup. But they are still thinking about you. They're very passionate about you, that's for sure. If it's not an ex, you could just be manifesting someone who is a little immature, okay? Or possibly younger than you. Or just views relationships in a very immature way. They could be just too passionate. Um, a little bit too sexual. Um, a little too touchy-feely. And I mean, there's nothing wrong with a sexual, passionate relationship. But it has to be balanced with everything else. The spiritual side, the mental, and then the physical. So just be aware that you could be manifesting someone who's highly, highly attracted to you. They're so attracted to you that they want to come rushing in. But they want to come rushing in with a very passionate offer. Um, which could come across as a little immature or not enough for you. But that doesn't mean they don't have good intentions. And that doesn't mean they don't have feelings for you and that they're not serious about you. It just could be their approach, being a little bit hasty. Maybe that's the immature energy I'm picking up on. Um, I'm just picking up on someone stumbling over their words or maybe giving you too many compliments. You know, <laughs> there's nothing wrong with compliments, but sometimes too much of it becomes too much of it so be aware that i mean it's not be aware it's a good thing who doesn't want someone coming in all passionately but just yeah be aware that this is their love language okay um touchy-feely rolling around in bed just the two of you kind of energy um so yeah you'll know if that's an ex or if it doesn't sound like an ex at all you're manifesting someone who wants to rush in this could be someone that's been eyeing you for quite some time with this knight of swords thinking about you very passionately and wondering when and how to come in with this Knight of Cups with this offer. Possibly ask you out to a cup of coffee or lunch or I don't know. It just seems like something. It seems small because I'm feeling these night energies as not the most mature. I don't want to keep repeating the same words, but it's just not the most mature energy, um, even if it's a mature person. OK, so be aware. Is this an ex, guys? It could be. It really could be. Or you just could be honestly manifesting something new. Please use your intuition. Figure out where you fall. I do think that there are two groups of you here. Someone's thinking about you and wanting to manifest a new cycle. However, I also feel like this is your energy. Just ready for something new. Ready to take a leap of faith and take a risk on love. I think you're ready. Whatever direction that takes you, you're just wanting something new. A new journey. And I think... You're manifesting it a lot quicker than you realize, okay? So, let's dig into this reading a little bit further. Is this an X or the next? <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> Crazy confirmation. Oh, I love it when the cards do this literally just asked is this an x or the next what does this one say yep okay so mm -hmm. you guys might not be wanting to hear this okay or possibly you are but i really feel like you're manifesting someone from the past someone that you haven't been in contact with possibly um there could have been some ghosting 
um, a lack of communication. Maybe you abandoned this person, rejected this person, or this person did this to you. Um, maybe this person, like I keep saying, <laughs> this word is just going to keep coming out of my mouth. Maybe this person was just too immature in the past and you had no choice but to turn your back. But they miss you and they understand that their immaturities is what has caused them to be out in the cold. Um, they see you kind of leaving them but what this kind of tells me is with the six of swords is that they want to change um they want to change the dynamics in this relationship they want to leave the turbulence and sail to something a little bit smoother um but look at these energies though page of pentacles they do have an offer for you and i do feel like it's a very sincere offer from the heart but it's still a page it's still a night there's still something very Here's the word again, immature. <laughs> I need to find another word. Um, undeveloped, uh, needing to um, grow. <sighs> immature. I'm just going to keep using that word. I'm sorry, guys. But yeah, I feel like you're manifesting reconciliation. <laughs> Uh, whether you want to hear it or not, it's either you're manifesting reconciliation or someone that you know wants to reconcile with you. Someone wants to reunite. Someone wants to, possibly you guys used to have a lot of fun together, go out together quite a lot, drinking with friends at bars. And that's something that they reminisce about. And it's something that they want to step into again, um, having good times with you. But traditionally, the Three of Cups is the card of reunion. And for these X or next uh, readings, I mean, it's pretty, it's a very obvious card for me. Reconciliation, it's an X. Um, it's an X that you dealt with that possibly you guys were just um, hookup buddies. Um, maybe you wanted more at the time. It didn't work out. Maybe they just couldn't give you more because of finances with that five of five of pentacles maybe this person's finances were a little off and they had to step back and work on that but they've worked on it and they're coming forward with some sort of communication uh very rash communication might come across as once again immature but it's still sincere okay this person still has a little bit of growing to go um i think it has to do with their love language or what it is that they seek in relationships they could be all about the fun and the passion which is what i'm getting here and that's something that might make you feel like um they're unstable or like the relationship is not something that you can trust maybe that makes you feel abandoned um and that's why you had to step away from this relationship this relationship, however, on the other hand, hasn't stepped away from you. This person's been missing you and thinking about you like I felt before. Um, and the Knight of Swords is here. They're rushing in because they've been studying some sort of communication, some sort of offer, some sort of can we go on a date kind of communication some sort of passion some sort of new start sorry i just i got distracted there a little bit sorry i saw my reflection in this mirror and i got distracted sorry okay cool let us go clear um let's clarify a little bit deeper sorry guys i'm getting distracted apologies with the light seers tarot to clarify your reading a little bit further Lots of passionate energies here, though. Very beautiful. This person, they do care about you. I do feel that energy. I'm trying to see if this is not someone from the past. How could I interpret these energies as someone new? You could be dealing with, if you are manifesting someone new, this could be for a certain group of you. You're dealing with someone who's coming from something that made them feel um, abandoned and neglected, or your person could be struggling with abandonment issues in general. Um, they're trying to leave something behind. Um, this person could be very jovial and like to drink and ha um, like to go out. That could be something you should be aware of. But this person is, like I said before, they're very solid um, and they do want to come in with some sort of commitment. But it might not be the most mature or stable commitment right now because i haven't seen any emperors i haven't seen any kings okay so just be aware wow oh my gosh 
I wasn't expecting the lovers. You could be dealing with um, a Gemini. Sorry, it wasn't in reverse. Sorry, I just put it in reverse by mistake. Um, so yeah, this could indicate that someone had to make a choice, possibly a choice in love and they've made their choice. Their choice in is you. I really do feel like this person um, has been spying on you possibly um, with the Knight of Swords and the Page of Swords. Wow, you really could be dealing with an air sign. Let me know in the comments below. Um, it doesn't have to be though, of course. Remember that too. Um, oh, I was saying sorry about that, that guys video just cut out of nowhere because uh, my storage is full but yeah i've been struggling to get these readings out um since mercury retrograde like all of my technology is just messing up i just oh, i'm not starting the reading again though because i feel like the message is out okay so i'm just gonna splice these two readings together if it looks a little different i apologize where were we crap where were we this person was spying on you i think yeah this person's trying to learn about you um ask friends about you um if it is an ex then you guys um share friends or maybe you they know your family or they know where you work this person's definitely checking you out or possibly on social media again if this is someone that you don't know you are manifesting a very strong connection here but this person um is a little timid so they are um, getting some information about you possibly like I said before asking friends or family or looking online um, you're manifesting someone who's going to want to collaborate with you work with you commit honestly there's no other way to say it and yeah very clear decision will be made a very clear choice will be made maybe you'll have a choice here between uh, two possibly with that lovers but I also am picking it up that um if this is an ex, they've made their decision. They know that they love you and they know that they don't want to lose you. They've missed you. Um, yeah. Sorry, guys. I've lost my, my trail of thought now since the reading cut. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. All right, I'm almost done though anyway, so I might as well close off. I'm not going to take these. I'm actually going to go into the uh, healing with the angels by doreen Vir virtue these have some personality traits that could be linked to this person or maybe your personality or they could just be hints and i don't know little nudges from the universe as to what you should look out for if you want to manifest the situation a little bit faster Ooh, ooh. okay okay that's way too many me two more cards universe two more cards okay one more okay wow okay so you guys are manifesting some beautiful stuff here as you can see it says new love and the lovers so there's that group of you who are manifesting someone new, new love, no doubt. But I also am picking this up as possibly someone from the past who has missed you and is coming in, rushing in to offer new love. Okay. This person could be very abundant. They could be quite wealthy um, with this pentacle, uh, page of pentacles. Maybe that was the problem before, but it seems like that's not a problem anymore. Finances are looking good. If that's not it, this relationship will just feel very abundant. Whatever it is that you're manifesting will bring you abundance. Um, you can trust the situation, trust yourself. And like I said, even though this person's energy is a little immature, um, a little hasty, they are sincere and there's integrity behind their words. Something about what's coming towards you is going to feel like a dream. It's going to be so abundant. So yeah, good stuff, guys. I do, do hope that this has helped in any little way. Like, share, um, comment, subscribe, all of that good stuff. Personal readings are up on offer. Yeah, if you'd like a career or money readings up on YouTube, let me know in the comments below because I don't know if anyone's interested in that stuff. Cool. Love and light. Bye.